All right, guys, so today we are working with Eva Wigs. Um, you already know the name if you are an OG here to my channel, but if you're new, I work with Eva all the time because they have literally the best quality wigs you are going to find. I don't know how many times I have to say it, but what apps? Like, if you want to go ahead and invest in a wig, you will not have to change for the next one to two years. Eva's your girl. So I'm going to be working with their 26 inch um, glueless lace wig. I'm going to show you guys the details in just a second. So I'm going to try to spread this out so that you can see the uh, curl pattern. I'm not sure if my camera is picking it up, but it is like a ringlet curl and this is 26 inches. Um, it is not a 360 wig, but it is a, I guess you can say it's like, oh, it's just a lace wig. It's not a full lace wig. Um, however, the cap construction is freaking immaculate. So I just wanted to show you guys. Like the stitching is perfect. The webs are evenly spaced. They just have a ridiculously, ridiculous quality to their wigs. Um, they have the three combs and the bra strap in the back. I don't usually use the combs or this little lace piece in the back. I cut all of that out just so my wigs can fit better. And as I said before, I did bleach the lace and tint it a bit. Um, I still have a little bit more to tint back here. I didn't finish that, but I just went ahead and tinted it. And what we're going to be doing today actually is an inspired style from Beyonce herself. Um, I've been noticing on my Instagram dark hair Beyonce popping up a lot and I also noticed that since homecoming she's had a couple of different wigs that have had her signature blonde highlights so we're gonna try to do I've just kind of been inspired to have like curly blonde hair I have not had blonde hair in quite some time I personally don't really wear blonde hair however um, we're gonna give it a try in honor of Miss Beyonce and her Lion King debut. So let's go ahead and switch on over to the wig head stand so that we can get a look. Oh, I just wanted to show you guys um the hairline on this. Okay, I over bleached my eyes, but don't worry about that. We don't no one cares about that because we're dying this hair blonde anyway. But I did over bleach my eyes, but the hairline is like a wavy hairline like if you can see it already has the grooves for you which is why I love working with Eva's wigs um, because I already have that natural like guidance of plucking the hair so we're just going to switch on over to the wig head stand and we're going to see what kind of method we want to use for lifting this hair guys so as you can see I've separated the hair into six sections the first thing I'm going to do are my highlights um, I'm using quick blue bleach and 40 volume ion developer um, sorry quick blue bleach and 30 volume ion developer for this portion I am just going to take out some random strands to highlight I'm not sure which pieces yet I'm just kind of pulling at some pieces See what kind of naturally falls. Yeah, just give me some of these. Just kind of like a chunky type of look. I plan to do is for the highlights, I'm going to straight up, just enough. I'm going to straight up bleach those with this bleach and developer, and then I'm going to go back in. Once I finish all my highlights, I'm going to go back in and do a um, bleach wash on the rest of the hair to lighten that.
So I'm gonna open up where we've already started the highlights. They are nice and brown. Okay, so the highlights, as you can see, are up and through here. Now we're going to go ahead and start to bleach the entire thing. So we're doing a bleach wash and we're going to take it up and ombre the portions that we didn't ombre. We're going to ombre those in. So the bleach wash is just the 40 volume developer, the quick blue bleach, and some sulfate free shampoo. This is what the hair is looking like so far. I have bleach washed all of it. As you can see, I've kept some of the rooting dark. Um, I'm gonna let this sit for about an hour. I'm gonna wrap it in a plastic bag and then we're gonna come back and see what the lightening is looking like. You can definitely see those um, highlights, which I'm super excited about. And there is a slight ombre going down as well. I'm gonna see how high this will lighten. And then we'll see after we rinse it out what it's looking like. So this is the ending color. Um, this was the color I was aiming for, but I'm I'm trying to think if I want to take it up one more octave. I'm a little scared that if I do, like as you guys can see, the curls are super intact. But I do have some my low lights, like the parts that I did close to last are still a little they're more brown than i want the ombre looks great the roots look great i'm just a little worried that if i do take it up either i'm going to change the rooting and it's going to be a little too hot or i'm going to the lighter parts my highlights the one that i did first might go a little too light and we're going to take them to the 613 territory instead of the 27 that they're sitting comfortably at right now so i think what i'm going to do is just refer to um the reference pictures just refer to this one beyonce's reference, reference pictures specifically the ones of her at the uh coachella performance and see if if I want to go ahead and take it up another octave or two. I don't know. Not two. Definitely not two. Let's see if I want to take it up another octave. I'm really in love with the fact that this curl pattern is still freaking intact. This is, it was a 30 volume for about um, two hours. I, y'all, you know, I forgot to smoke mugs down here. So almost, almost fried it, but if she didn't. Okay, so I did a 40 volume on the highlights maybe going on about two and a half hours highly do not recommend i personally left out and forgot that i had this sitting in here i didn't rinse out before i left um and then i have a 30 volume on the rest of the hair for about two hours because i'm counting the time it took me to do the highlights so all in all um the hair had bleach on it for about two and a half hours and she's still she's still working it now you can kind of tell in some of the 
it's a little dry in some of the highlight places but not dry enough that it completely lost its texture and definitely not dry enough to call it fried or anything of that nature it just needs to do a condition like maybe a uh, silicone bath and once we style it it's super soft though it's it's like ridiculously soft like I'm really cursing myself out of my head for keeping touching it because the curls are still intact but the hair is so soft and I am actually excited about the movement and the high and low lights that we have fucking throughout the hair. I think it's good. I don't think I need to take it up again. I don't think I will take it up again. I think this is a good color for my complexion and I shouldn't take it up anymore. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I'm just going to, although the front of the hairline looks really good, I'm going to go in and just thin it out a little bit more on the sides. Because I don't really like dense sides to my hairline. And we're going to throw her on and see what she looks like. Okay guys, so here is the finished look of the bleaching process. Um, I haven't done anything styling wise except for apply my wig and do my little swoops. Um, other than that, this is the natural curl pattern. So it is a little looser than before, but it is still very Beyonce-esque and it's ramen noodle realness oh i got my little beyonce fan on so y'all can get into the movement of the hair so you know it's stiff wear stiff wear cute crazy in love as far as the lace goes it's eva's wig so it's thin quality lace um easy to lay personally it was already pre-plucked but I did go in and do a tiny bit more plucking, which I really didn't need to do once I applied the wig. I saw that, like, I might have overplucked it. Just a little teeny, 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 tiny, teeny, 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 tiny, teeny bit. Um, so I would go ahead and just probably keep it as is or wait until you put it on your head before you start going pluck happy. Other than that, um, I haven't done anything to this wig except for the dyeing slash bleaching process. I didn't actually dye it. I just bleach on there um yeah once everything is dry still a little bit wet ends but once everything is dry i actually really like the color i don't think i need to go in and do anything else maybe Ooh, this baby boy blowing yeah i think this is like a perfect rendition of beyonce's like golden color she usually has um yeah, I wouldn't change anything. It actually worked out perfectly. So I used a quick blue bleach. As you guys saw, it works. It lightens. It does awesome things very, very quickly. As far as the wig, I did take the combs from the temples out. You guys know I always love to do that. Let's move my Beyonce fan in the front. Um, yeah, so I took the combs out. I'm using the bra strap, and it is just applied to my head with some got to be spray. And yeah, so that's all she wrote. The wig fits nice and snug. My personal wig is so it is the 26 inch um, Indian Indian Remy hair. It'll be the link will be down below if you guys need it. But it's 26 inch. It is 180 density. It's an average cap size and has medium brown lace. So there you go. I did go in and tint the lace just a little bit more. Um, the medium brown is just like maybe a shade and a half lighter than me so you guys see how I tint my lace I put a video up right before this one so if you want to know how I make my own lace tint just head on to my last video and you can see how to do your own um yeah I don't have a crap ton to say about this Beyonce unit except that this is my first time wearing blonde hair in a long time and and I mean whoop Ooh, how long has it been since I was blonde hair? I'm not a blonde hair person. I don't think it, I just don't think it looks good with my red undertones personally. But this is one wig that I actually really super, super, super do like. I don't think it's too much. I think it's just the right color of blonde. I do love the um, natural low lights and highlights that happen with just using the bleach. So you guys saw me take out portions that I bleached earlier and then I went in and bleached bigger chunks so now we have these big chunky cool like 27 colored highlights 
up and throughout the hair. I think it really gives it that dimension and really gives it that professional Beyonce look. Yeah, you guys, I mean, this hair's the bomb. Hold on, let me see if I can stand up and give you a little bit of length. Ooh, she's giving you waist. So, again, I'm 5'9", and let's see, hair stretched is well below my hip. Yes, yeah, so I have my Nefertiti earrings on, compliments of Beyonce's HBCU theme. And if you want to know where I got these from, they'll be linked down below. They were not expensive at all. It's like ten dollars. So go ahead and copy some. They are heavy. So if you're not used to wearing big earrings, go ahead and skip this one. They're of like they're quality. Like you bad boys are heavy. But other than that, we are all set. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Uh, all, as always, Eat Wigs has come through. Go ahead and check them out on Instagram and go ahead and click the link below if you're interested in this unit. It is a fun, summery, long, lightweight unit, but it's, I mean, it's a lot of hair, but the hair isn't hot. It's like so lightweight and pretty and bouncy and fun, and it takes to bleach, just like it probably takes to color. Um, I don't know. Will I color this or will I keep it this color? I don't know. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that this summer though so yeah uh, I hope to see you guys in my next one sorry that this one was so like chit chatty and random but I have been 100 today so I'll see you guys I love you so much Mwah.